John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum, is now in theaters. This is the third film in the John Wick franchise. Short story, but I still remember when John Wick came out in theaters. I saw it opening day. I was very excited for it because I like Keanu Reeves. I really do. I always have. And I was curious about it. And I remember seeing the first John Wick and thinking, that was good. You know, I was like, it's interesting that the Russians are getting picked on because uh, when John Wick came out, it was two weeks after, I believe, The Equalizer, which also picked on Russians. So I was like, eh, you know, this is this is interesting. It's, it's a little trend. And I was like, eh, I, I don't know if this is going to get a sequel. But if it does... I'm down. And then I saw that they were getting a second one made because the first one became a cult classic. And here we are with the third John Wick film. I never thought I would say that. But yeah, this is a trilogy now. The John Wick trilogy. But you are watching this review for the third one. So let's get to the third one. So John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum follows the events after the second one where he is excommunicado. And he's on the run, and he has nobody really to turn to, and he has to essentially fight off a lot of assassins in any which way possible. Keanu Reeves is great. You know, he's phenomenal with the stunts. The stunts in this film are incredible. It's why you go see the film. You know that he does all this training with gun tactics, uh, fight choreography. He does a great job with it, too. You can see the dedication on screen. Um, the line delivery was also a lot of fun. Um, this film also notches up the comedy aspect of the film. Like, it is a funny film, I think, in some aspects. It's serious when it needs to be, but there were some pretty funny moments, I thought. Um, the action scenes are very well choreographed. The staging of them are fantastic. Um, a lot of wide angles so you can see everything that's going on. Uh, long takes as well. And to jump to that, the cinematography is great. I love the green hue that they used for the way they shot the film. The color grading is good. It's really good. And I think that it's also nice to see the homages that it pays to Buster Keaton films in the beginning, uh, even 2010 action films such as Skyfall, um, you know, and even other films in the John Wick franchise, like Chapter 1 and 2. The Raid films also get a... Th uh, an honorable mention, which is funny because The Raid 2, for me personally, it's my all-time favorite action film. So it was nice to see not only an actor that was in The Raid films, but you also get a throw a throwout mention of that at the very end. So I liked that. I think it's also nice to see the world building. Like, the first two films were good at that. But this film, I think, kicks it up a notch with the world building. There are so many little details with the world that they built that I absolutely adored it. I also liked the fact that this film's first act and third act were fantastic. They were great. But this isn't a perfect film. And that's what I'm trying to get at. I, I think that this film, it works for what it's trying to do. And that's where the other two films succeeded too. These aren't films that are ambitious. They're not trying to make you think. They are trying to be a good time with great R-rated, you know, choreography action. And on those fronts, it works. But that being said, this film in the second act, it tries to mix world building with storytelling. And the other two films work because of its simplicity. But the third one feels like it's trying to be a little bit <sighs> ambitious. And I have nothing wrong with ambition. In fact, I, I always praise it. I love it when a film is trying to be ambitious. But when you know what you are and you try to succeed in those fronts, that's when it works. But when you try and outreach the grasp that you're going for, it's like, eh. But I still respect it. I think the second act, it's not terrible. But I just feel like it tries to do certain things that it then throws out the window. And it's like, eh, it's not as ambitious as it could have been. Um... I just feel like the second act wasn't handled as well as it possibly could have. Um, I also think that the way this film ends, I didn't hate it, but I was a bit, not annoyed, but just kind of disappointed because I thought that this was the final entry. I thought this was the third film and they were just like, we're done. This is Keanu Reeves, you know, really good trilogy. But alas, the way it ends, they're going to be making a fourth one, especially considering that this probably will make a hundred million at the North America box office. So I know we're getting a fourth one. How often is a fourth film in an action franchise good though? Besides Mad Max Fury Road. Not that many, if any. So that's why I'm nervous. And I know that's not to the film's credit itself, but I think at the same time, you want to be able to hold on your own. And I think the first two do that, you know, with how they ended. 
But I think this third one, with the way it ends, it's like, eh, it doesn't hold up as well. That being said, though, John Wick Chapter 3, for what it's going for, for from an action, stunt, cinematography, sound design, which I also forgot to mention, the sound design was incredible. The little uh, nuances of the shells dropping from the shotgun, the shotgun noises, they were all fantastic. From all that great stuff down to just the dedication of Keanu Reeves, that's all great. A couple of missteps, but overall, in John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, I personally would recommend it, and I will be giving that a uh, 4.5 out of 5 star rating, which for those like a hot sauce rating, John Wick Chapter 3 gets a Tabasco rating. So it's it's really good. It's worth watching. Um, I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Um, truly, I am. As well as, where do you rank these films? What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Rank them in the comment section below. And as always, guys, Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.